How's it going internet? What is up on this beautiful fine day? I've got something really exciting I'm gonna show you. If you follow me on Instagram, you kind of already got a heads up on this. As I got it a few days ago. Check this out. All right, you're all locked into the tripod. So, um, my grandpa is super old. <laughs> like super old. Um, he's 92. Um, he was living on his own until recently um, because of some health, not necessarily complication, conditions I guess, basically because of his age he's not necessarily able to take care of himself anymore, which is completely understandable for someone in that age bracket. Uh, so he's been living by himself and recently he's been uh, moved to a home. Um, myself, my mom, my aunties and uncles, um, a bunch of us cousins, uh, we took the day and we helped him grab up whatever he wanted and move him to this uh, home. Now, this home is like a freaking resort to start off with. Uh, you go there, it's absolutely incredible. I've seen some old folks homes before and it's nothing like this. It's absolutely insane. He's living in a mansion. You walk in, there's a piano there. They have performances, there's a dining hall. and It, it, it blew my mind, absolutely blew my mind. So he has all his, um, let me see, he tactically, he tactically chose the possessions that he wanted to take with him because his, his place is now very small being in the home. But he of course cannot fit an entire house into that. And being the age that he is, he doesn't use most of his stuff anymore. So he tactically chose what he wanted to bring with him. And he said, whatever else is left, everyone can just go take what they want. Now there was a, a lot of hesitation on this because it's like, well, we're just rifling through his stuff. Um, but everyone who did take things kind of, you know, we looked through it and thought this is some something great I can remember grandma by because she passed away a few years ago and grandpa, when he goes, I would like to have something to remember him by as well. So it was not necessarily us rifling through to get free crap. Um, we're looking for things that we might appreciate to have of grandpa's, but he made homemade wine. He's got a large crab apple tree outside his house. He would make crab apple wine, Saskatoon berry bushes around. He would make Saskatoon uh, wine and all that sort of stuff. It was never, never grape wine. Um, there's not really grapes up where we are in the far north, but he would take these fruit and make fruit wine out of it. So I go down to his cellar and lo and behold, I find some wine, but he has not made wine for several years. Charlie, you're in the shop, but chill out, just chill with that. So he hadn't made wine for several years, and I looked at the date on these, and they dated back almost 20 years ago. Um, the most recent one, I believe, was 2003. Um, I've got a bottle here. It is crab apple wine, made on October 4th, 1988. So, you can, the dust on these bottles even, it's, it's old. There's cobwebs in the cellar and everything, reaching through to grab these, it's absolutely amazing. So what I'm gonna do, of course, he's trying to steal the show. Charlie, what are you doing? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack this open, I'm gonna have a taste and I'm gonna enjoy it with you guys and for the rest of it, because this is a large bottle, I'm going to re-bottle into smaller bottles to save for later dates and special occasions. So, without further ado, let's open it. So guys, we've got it poured. This is, it is like a gold color. And it smells really good actually. Really, really good. All right, let's do this. Cheers. right off the bat. I could tell it was sweet at one, one time, but it's really mellowed out. I have also, I can also tell, I've heard stories that my grandpa makes really strong wine. Now with a yeast, a yeast based alcohol, I believe the highest percentage alcohol content you can get is about 18%. And I know he's pushed the boundaries on it, trying to get as close as he can. I've heard like 
he made no wine under 16%, which is insane. This is strong. This, it's almost like a liqueur, more than a wine, really. You know, it actually is fairly dry. Now that, I, now that I take that second sip. It is a bit dry, not very sweet. It's almost like a red wine. It tastes a lot like a red wine would. I mean, not flavor-wise, but it acts like the body of it. Yeah, that's strange. The very first sip I had it, I, I couldn't, I didn't really notice that it was that dry. But now that I'm having more, it's certainly a dry wine but it's good. Crab apples are known for being like very, very sour and I'm getting like that crab apple sour flavor, but not the sourness, not the tart to it. But dang, is there some alcohol in this. All right, guys, I'm gonna go finish this off. I can't get enough smelling it. I'm gonna go finish this off. I'm gonna go pour my wife a glass of wine and uh, then I'm gonna rebottle this and we're gonna get this put away and save some bottles for some rainy days. I have to let my grandpa know what I thought of it. Hmm. So, do you guys have any family treasures? That's what I want to know. Let me know down below if you have anything from a grandparent, parents, aunts, uncles, maybe even a really close friend that you consider family. Do you have any treasures of a loved one who has passed away or has moved away even that you don't see anymore? That it's one of those things that you're just, you're not gonna ever let go. Um, I know for me, no matter how much of this I drink, I'm gonna keep one of my bottles at every bottle. And it's, maybe I'll save it for another 20 years, we'll see. But I'm gonna keep it for a long time. And with each sip of this, I'm just gonna think of my grandparents. All right guys, anyways. I'll see you later. Have a good one.